Hi, I'm Simon Hickey, CEO of Western Sydney Airport. I still remember my first international trip, which was to Rome. I was really attracted to travel from that time. Over the years, I went to London and worked in London for a couple of years. I worked in New York for a couple of years and then found my way into the aviation industry, which was such an exciting, challenging, vibrant industry that really is about connecting cultures, bringing people together, reuniting families, and taking people on experiences of a lifetime. Western Sydney International Airport is by design an international and domestic airport right here in the cultural heartland of Sydney, Western Sydney. It's actually got a huge catchment from day one. Three million people will be able to come and leave from Western Sydney when they travel around Australia or around the world. Western Sydney is the third largest economy in Australia and the most culturally diverse and the fastest growing. So here we are in this wonderful neck of the woods, Western Sydney, and so we're going to be clearly different. We're going to be that international as well as domestic airport. We'll ultimately be the largest airport uh, in Sydney over the decades ahead. As a brand new airport, a greenfield airport, and remember, no one working today has built, in Australia, has built a greenfield airport. We get to explore what does aviation look like today and what's it going to look like in the future? And we're able to bring that to life for our airport, which is opening in 2026. And so that means we're looking at advanced technologies. It means that we're looking at, you know, an airport that's fit for today's experience, not fit for when the 1950s and tried to modernise. We're actually looking today and beyond. So we'll have new technologies. We want to stand out for what we mean uh, to First Nations. The largest First Nations community is here in Western Sydney, for, in Australia. So that is remarkable. The big thing for aviation over the decades ahead is sustainability. And we need to have sustainability at the forefront of our mind as we build Western Sydney Airport. So a technologically advanced airport that is welcoming and embracing of its community and the diversity in our community uh, but it's fit for purpose for the future. COVID impacted every business around the world and it really impacted us here in Western Sydney as well. We've thought deeply about uh, how we got through COVID and what a pandemic of the future also looks like. So how did we keep going through COVID? Well, we got ourselves into bubbles pretty quickly. We had 17 bubbles going across so that if, if one group went down, we could still maintain the site. Uh, we thought deeply about how you know, we keep people safe and safety is more than a mantra to us. Safety is our number one priority. So keeping people safe at work and on our site was in incredibly important. And we were able to maintain that work productivity whilst keeping everybody safe at the site all the way through COVID, which was a fantastic outcome for us. But going forward, if there's a future pandemic, we've also thought about that in terms of the design of the airport itself. And ultimately you have to have green zones and red zones and they can't interact with each other. And that way in a future pandemic, I'm very confident that Western Sydney Airport will be able to actually handle and continue to operate through a future pandemic. The future of aviation is vitally important for a country like Australia. We're a massive continent and we need to connect uh, around the world. Uh, so what I see though as the biggest issue in aviation is efficiency and sustainability in, in how we operate as an industry. When you bring that back to what does that mean for Western Sydney Airport, it means that we've got to have sustainability at the forefront of our minds as we build this new Greenfield Airport. So we'll be able to provide sustainable aviation fuel which reduces your carbon emissions in aircraft. We'll be able to do that from day one. We've thought about sustainable design at the airport and that reduces our energy needs by design through that airport. Our solar array just on the roof of the terminal building itself will provide 30% of the energy needs of the terminal and we'll be able to have sustainable energy needs for the rest of the airport. We're starting by design to think through how do we contribute and how do we make a difference in our little patch of the world that actually 
will permeate out and will start to help to change the rest of the industry. Uh, and we know that other airports around the world are looking at what we're doing and where we want to lead, we want to be a leader for the industry.